it has made a difference because it has caught on. Once we learn more about it, yeah, and you give us the background about why it's important things, it really caught everyone's attention. We found it wasn't that much extra work to have some quite major changes. We've got this massive culture change and it will spread. Do it. <laughs>Nobody communicated to me how incredibly energy intensive the science that I was doing was. You know, most universities, the labs take up maybe 10 or 15 percent of, of the space. They're actually consuming, you know, 50 percent or more of the energy. Sustainability in the laboratories is very important because they utilize actually a lot more resources than a standard, say, office or lecture theatre. So if we can reduce energy and water consumption in those areas, we can have a large impact on our reductions overall. It's absolutely essential that we engage with researchers, work with them to lower their emissions. We don't want to tread on their toes, we want to support them, we want to, them to keep doing what they do, which is namely producing world-class research to the benefit of society, but also we want them to be mindful of, of their impacts on the planet and help them in any way that we can to reduce that. Behaviour change is a really important aspect of embedding sustainability at the university. So for us, we do this through the Green Impact Programme. So we have sustainability champions around the university. They could be in an academic department, but also crucially in the labs. Because laboratories are historically not very environmentally friendly, we use a lot of electricity, uh, a lot of plastics. So learning what more we could do to sort of try and trim that has been, been very interesting. A lot of our funding is charity funded and it's important to make the most of that money and not waste too much of it. The more you kind of look at what a sustainable practice is and like how it's going to benefit long term, a lot of why we're going into it is it saves us time, money and a lot of headache just because it makes our lives easier. We have also set all of our freezers at minus 70 rather than minus 80. There's no reason why we need to run it at minus 80 and from a sustainable point of view that 10 degrees difference gives us a 30% saving in energy. By having a kind of sustainability uh, mindset in the laboratory there are a lot more opportunities to kind of streamline your processes whether that's to do with waste, sample management, these are all things which enable researchers to go about their business, the important work that they do in a very efficient way. I've really enjoyed working with um, people that I don't usually get the opportunity to work with. That's been lots of fun. And the feeling that I'm involved in something bigger, really. It's been very enjoyable learning about what more we could do, but not just in the labs, but also I, I believe that's had quite a big effect on their time outside of work. So they would be taking these sorts of ideas home with them and that would be sort of changing their behaviours in every environment, not just work. I think what King's has done is fantastic. I mean, it's been a, a genuinely comprehensive approach of, you know, we've, we've grown these lab awards, we've got positive engagement with the people on the ground, we've got genuine energy-saving projects that, that the staff can look to to see that their efforts are being uh, matched by the estate and the university itself. Science is a part of our society, you know, we're not about to exclude it. and. And how we do our science is, is, is something that we've not looked at as much as other areas. Um, and it's just really exciting to be a part of that.